anywhere you go in Japan is filled with arcades and underground malls that stretch for miles. We always really enjoy looking at the prices of their fruit. Look at this melon, 3,900 yen, that's $39. Here's one of those underground malls that leads all the way from Odori Station to JR Train Station. There are even places where you can just sit a while away the afternoon or use the free Wi-Fi. Giving out free masks. Soft salmon jerky. Very chewy. That is the line. They have really good prices here. All directions. Mall, mall, mall. I want to be buried in one of these food courts. And you never have to eat again if you just wander around and eat samples. The bento boxes look so good. Tempura. Sushi to go. The map shows our entire trip in just Hokkaido. Hokkaido has snow for six months of the year. The jump hill. Matakura. This leads you up to the base of the ski jump. The scoreboard, the flags would have flown here. Had to be something to see, to be sitting and watching them come flying down this 90 meter ski jump. This is a former Sapporo brewery that has now turned into a museum. What would a beer museum be without a beer gift shop? You can buy Sapporo beer all over the world, but only classic in Hokkaido. So we have the video of this. This is cuddle fish of fish guts, pickled and salt. And this one is called the thing which boiled seaweed. Well, they do have pancakes when they make them. Very nice with I really like the Natsume pickles. And I've got to try the wasabi taste of the herring roe. Okay, the name of this brewery is called Otokoyama. And then uh, the famous place about this thing is that we have this longevity water. This water actually flows down all the way from Daisetsu-san, Great Snow Mountain. Time to drink the longevity water. Mmm, that should have added at least 15 years to my life. The straw balls always indicate sake. Here they give you free samples. What's the biscuit made from? From the yeast, coated with honey. Oh yeah, I like things like that. This is the fermentation area. Sake is made from polished grains of rice. The nutshell, sake rice, rice polishing, rice steeping, rice steaming. Developing it, multiple parallel fermentation, filtration, bottling, and shipping. This capacity is 5,715 liters. Can you see how big it is compared to Steve? Beautiful sake cakes. I bought one of these two years ago when I was on the Nakasendo Trail. I bought an old one. I'm going to try some sweet sake. Mm -hmm. Good. We have one, two, three, four, five different ones to try. Kampai! Sake in cans. It's three different kinds. 
Local people believe that the water will keep them young because the water is so pure and come here with their own containers and fill them up.